Produce with Pamela for Blue Book Services. <clears throat> so July 31st is National Avocado Day. And what's going on with avocados right now is a little bit crazy. We've got a really high market. And over the last couple of years, every time this year, it gets, it gets pretty high. But it's, it's um, outrageous right now. And it's actually, we've had a couple of stories lately about how there's a lot of crime involved with avocados. And one of the biggest crimes, and it's kind of funny that... You know, in a funny haha -ha kind of way that we're talking about it is um, this is making like taquerias, like little food trucks in LA especially, um, start selling imposter guacamole uh, because avocados are expensive. They're looking for ways to cut their prices or keep their costs down. So they've been making guacamole out of different stuff besides avocados. Or either like a mix of avocados in there. And I've made this one recipe I saw in the New York Times cooking before where it had uh, fresh English peas used in guacamole and it, it actually didn't taste terrible, which I'm afraid they're actually going to um, kick me out of Texas for saying something like that. So, um, but but uh, there's a couple of different recipes that I've seen and the, the one from LA Taco is talking about using Mexican gray squash, this is a, or calabacita, um, instead of uh, avocados and you mix that with some tomatillos and this is more like a like a distinct style of guacamole so it had it's it, it's very smooth it's blended up in a blender and they they had a couple of key pointers on how to tell it tell the difference between it and the standard style it's like a bright electric green guacamole so I'm gonna make it out of gray squash and a couple of the other recipes that I found when I googled fake guacamole which I'm calling imposter guac um, the Food Network told me that you can make guacamole out of edamame and pepitas, which are pumpkin seeds. Skeptical Pamela is skeptical. We'll give it a try. Another one, you can pretty much uh, substitute frozen peas straight up for your avocados. We'll try that. And then I think the one that is going to horrify the most people is there are a lot of recipes and I heard about it on my favorite Facebook group to hate. Uh, it's about frugal cooking and it is using canned peas in guacamole. I can already hear my husband like throwing up a little in the back of his throat because if there is one thing in this world that he hates it is canned peas. Canned peas are one of the most reviled items in all of food. I mean, we're talking about, if they're right up there with frozen Brussels sprouts for a lot of people, or canned peas elicit such a visceral reaction that um, I think it's pretty funny. And what I'm gonna do, and the other thing that's pretty funny is that my boys aren't here right now. They're in a friend's house, and they've been in a friend's house for a couple of days. So I'm going to make a couple of imposter guacs, and then I'll make some real guacamole because I'm not that cruel, um, and because I'm, I'm willing to shell out some cash for some avocados. <laughs> but I'm gonna make, a, make these imposter guacs, and I will have them do a blind taste test and let them tell me what they think the guacamole is made out of. So, <laughs> if the, that's the best uh, diabolical laughter that I can come up with. Uh, I will get started. So I strongly suspect that the key to success with imposter guac is lots of extras. So I have cilantro and some red onions, some green onion, garlic, limes, jalapenos, and I'm sure there's going to be a whole slew of other things to go along with this. This one is edamame, pepitas, green onions, olive oil, a little bit of jalapeno. The recipe calls for red jalapenos, but we don't have those here. Um, salt and lime juice. No garlic? No cumin? Okay, so no garlic or cumin. I'm a little sad about that. So this abomination is canned peas, pepper, cumin, salt, onions, lime juice, garlic, and olive oil. 
I mean, I don't know whose idea this was, but... Do you know those recipe books where it shows you, like, aspic, you know, the jello molds from the 60s? It's reminiscent of that. This one is frozen peas that have been thawed, garlic, cilantro. Is there any onion in here? Frozen peas, garlic, jalapeno, cilantro, olive oil, thyme, I mean mint, lime. <clears throat> so there's no onions in here and there's mint, there's mint which I mean kind of Yankee guacamole if you ask me but we'll give it a whirl and I have three of four of my pasta guacamole's done so there's one there's two there's three and the fourth one is the one that has the squash and the tomatillos so this is squash, tomatillos, garlic, uh, cilantro, and then this was kind of interesting. They they told us to use like fry some jalapenos in oil, and they said a neutral flavored oil, and I was like, should I use avocado oil? But I thought that was cheating, so I used canola oil. So you're supposed to. All of these recipes required adding oil, which. Honestly, not that surprising, considering that, you know, guacamole is delicious because it has oil in it, right? I'm, so, I'm sorry, I had to put you down because I need both hands for this. Okay, so, there's my fried, fried jalapenos and the oil they fried in. Oh, this milkshake will definitely not bring my children to the yard here. It's still kind of warm too. Okay, if you fall for this as being guacamole, then you, my friend, have problems. All right, so here's the final result. We have edamame, canned peas, frozen peas, calabacitas, and just for control, I took everything that I normally make guacamole with and I stuck it in the blender and made smooth guacamole. So I think it'll be fun to see if the kids can tell the difference between the calabacita guacamole and the smooth guacamole. I think they'll be able to tell the difference. There's a pretty noticeable flavor change. <laughs> it smells like something's okay. okay. All right, yeah. so everyone's trying it. Right. This is what we started with. We started with LA Taco. Three, two, one. LA Taco's imposter guac. That crunch. What ah. do you think? Does it taste terrible or what? What kind of, what, what is it? It tastes like lime. It tastes like lime? There's a lot of garlic in that. Yeah, I want it. It's like garlic sauce. Tastes like garlic sauce. But I told you guys, none of these taste bad. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it's a little I bit different. I substituted that for garlic sauce. I actually think it actually tastes was like terrible. garlic terrible. Yeah. That, that was terrible. I mean, it's a I, good it's sauce, not, but it's not It's not a good sauce at all. So this one is made from calabacita. What is that? Which is a squash. All I can taste is garlic. Yeah. Garlic. Yeah, the garlic yeah, is yeah, really over Calabacita. Calabacita. I taste the garlic. And, yeah. Was there lemon or lime in that? There's lime, lime in all of them. All I've right. definitely got lime. Try number two. Okay, this one's that a real one. That one looks like guac. This one's a this real one. This one looks no, like it, but you can't be sure. I bet if we left them all out for 20 minutes, Oh, days, you dipped the tell. wrong one. Here, you want to Oh, this one smells like it. Here, yeah, this one, no. This one kind of smells like Why do you feel? put so much on it? Like sweat. Here, straight here. <laughs> I want to try it. it. There's onions in it. I want to try it. Okay, okay everybody three, go. Two, one. I should have made you have this one last. 
Yeah, that's avocado. That's guacamole. Definitely. That's for sure. I just whipped it to make it smooth. Uh, <laughs> make it stuck. No, I was going to say, if we just let it sit out for 20 one. minutes, whichever one starts turning brown on top. Well, I mean, that one's brown. Well, that's why I thought that one. No. All right. That's home. Try this one, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. Maybe, this, so maybe in my wildest dreams is another one that, that tastes like, like avocado. Rice cauliflower. Yeah. <laughs> you you have, have to say that. I hate cauliflower. It's this one was what my least I'm favorite. I'm scared of it. You're scared no, of it? No, because she said none of them were spicy. Ah, none of them are spicy. So there's no wasabi. Garlicky. There's no wasabi. No, that one was a bit okay. spicy. Or horseradish? No horseradish, Three, no wasabi. Two, one. I think it's wasabi because I think I know what this one is. Ah. <laughs> That's terrible. I'm scared. Yeah, that one's terrible. Yeah, that's terrible. This was my least favorite one, too. That's not good. That's vomit. It's edamame. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's edamame. I don't even like edamame. Awesome. No. I hate edamame. It's not hummus because I like hummus. I love it. It's edamame. He loves I hate it. it. <laughs> Did you try it? Really I barely it. even got it. Okay. Give it a fair shot. All right, try okay. the next one, guys. Edamame is my least favorite. So, yeah. I think Parker Rose likes the little beans, though. You always see them with I don't know. I don't what do we like? Edamame, edamame beans. beans. What is that? It's like a pea, isn't it? Yeah, like it's soybeans. Soy soy beans. Huh. Oh, again. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it smells like baby food. <laughs> <laughs> that does smell like baby food. Oh, oh that's sugar snap peas. Okay, three. That's one plate. All right, what do you think okay, that three, one is? Two, it's like one. parsley. There's some like mint in there. Mint? Yeah. Yeah, the recipe calls for mint. That's Yankee guacamole. That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of gross. It's, it's peas. peas. Oh, oh yeah. I knew it tastes like baby food. <laughs> <It looks laughs> really? Uh, that is by far my eagle. most Eagle. That was the worst. That was the one you were talking about. That was eagle. Eagle. You were at a restaurant. You would be really unhappy. All right, so oh, yeah. everybody yeah. try the last one. Like, yep. Yes, if you serve that to me. Yeah. Oh, I have a the barf one? Eat it. No, <laughs> give it away. No, eat it. Please. I know no. what it is. <laughs> does anyone knows know what it is? No, no eat it. <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> this looks like hummus. Is it hummus? I like Hold hummus on, no. and chips. Right. I know what it is. It smells like, it smells like pickle or cheese. I know what it is. It smells oh, like okay, three, three, two. Three, two. Is it blue? Blue. Celery. <laughs> <laughs> you are a bad person. What is this? <laughs> it's canned peas. Oh, no. No. there's two peas. Why do people think peas are similar to avocado? No, avocados are amazing. Peas are bad. Uh, okay, if you start to make your mind be disgusting and yeah, spit it out. the best word for last. So I'm eating peas all out. in our mouth. <laughs> So everyone, the real one, they all knew. I should have made him have the good one last, but uh, I have a feeling my husband's not going to forgive me for the canned pea guacamole yeah, for a long bad. time. <laughs> so happy National Avocado Day. And again, this is Produce with Pamela for Blue Book Services.